Hey everybody, what's up? Cedric and Cedric here, CR Wrestling Commentary, and we'll be answering viewers. And as we just simply respond to comments on videos, that's all we do. We break the cardinal rule. Since there aren't anyone, you know, really responding, you know, we ain't got like 40 people or anything like that responding, so we can do this. You know? Um, so this is, uh, and look, from now on, if you don't want us to, you know, call your name out, just read the comment, man. Just let us know. And we will not mention your name again. I think that's fair. Okay. Okay, so this is from uh, Tyle Jones. And this is his response, um, well, to answering viewers. <laughs> He says Tachi has been a baby face for a few years now, but even when he was a heel, he was still a bit better than Finley. Ren does have a D bag face. I just never noticed until you pointed it out. <laughs> I just wish House of Torture would disband or just learn to wrestle more and cheat less. Sound like Mavison. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. Yeah, okay, but playing by the rules, won't that get on? You'd be like, well, they all do right and they all play fair. You wouldn't you get tired of that? No. Why not? If it's a good match, it don't matter. That's what a lot of modern wrestling fans say. If they don't know what a good match is. No, no, you just blanket it that. You just say it's a good match. Mm-mm. If it's a good match, and they'd be like, yeah. And then you say, they don't know what a good match is. They're like, wait, what? They don't. Why don't they? Uh, let's see. Will Ospreay versus Callum Newman. They would cream themselves from here to eternity. Yeah. Why would you not like the match? Because it wouldn't make a lot of sense. There'd be a whole lot of standing bent over waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in the middle of the ring, kind of looking dazed, while this dumbass runs to the ropes and jumps off backwards. I cannot disagree with that. Think about that, people. He runs to the ropes and jump off backwards. Here's what you do: climb on your roof and jump off backwards. See how that works for you. <laughs> It'd be like, well, I land nicely on that trampoline or the airbag. Until you don't. Well, that's everything. I breathe pretty well until I didn't. Hey, hey everybody needs to remember the until and appreciate when it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He says, if the world was fair, bullies like JBL would have been blacklisted for years. That bastard gets promoted to WWE champion in the 2000s, yet guys like Shelton never got a shot. Will never get a shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they, guys like Shelton will never get an honest shot at a major WWE belt unless it's tag team because that is the nature of the company. And I'm sure JBL was right up McMahon's alley. He was. And I'm sure that was by design. But the more believable guy was actually Ron Simmons. You watch Ron Simmons, you're like, that guy will mess you up. Mm -hmm. JBL didn't look like that when he stopped being Bradshaw. No, he didn't. When he was Bradshaw, I was like, that dude is brutal. Mm -hmm. Then he just clean shaven. I was like, he don't even look like he's trying anymore. No, he don't. He was Okada before Okada. He was. Um, <laughs> he said, I meant to type, not trying to be rude, stupid keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you had, you had to endure so much BS in your lifetime, man. Uh, thank, thank you, man. Thanks, Jones. He says, thanks for the commentary and stay safe, man. We try to stay safe. We do our best. Yep. But to go back to the good match, uh, let's see. Who was a good match? Goto and Konosuke. Wasn't that a good match? Yes. Did anybody get spat on? <laughs> was anybody's balls damaged? anybody get dropped on some railing somewhere or thrown into bowled into some chairs no it was a perfectly thoroughly enjoyable match 
and no fluids were flung at anybody. Sound like adult movies. F look, David Finley is nasty. I've, I've seen him just spit and drool for no reason. He was just standing there, just pouring out of his face like some college frat boy. Yeah, I was gonna say a toddler, but what's the difference? Mm. So, nasty. I just pissed off a lot of people saying that too. Nasty. He says uh, this one is, I think, his thoughts for SummerSlam. And he said, you know, he put thoughts, and I'm like, see, look at that. He let me know these are his thoughts. So I'm like, it already puts me in the mindset that these are his thoughts and I, I can just kind of relax. You know, he says, I was surprised with Liv versus Ripley. I thought it would be boring because I thought Liv was rubbish in the ring. I agree with that. But she surprised me. She actually looked pretty decent in the ring. Yeah, Ripley's pretty good as well from what I've seen of her. Uh, let's see, as for Dom, I was split. I knew he would get involved, but I did not know if he was going to help Ripley or help Liv. I have my answer. <laughs> yeah. Dom reminds me of Cesar Romero as the Joker. Okay, from the Adam West Batman show. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Back in the day. Just give him a green wig and paint over his porn mustache. <laughs> yes. Porn stash. Honestly, I can see it. I can see it. He won't have the happy eyes, but I can see it. Let's see. Uh, Sammy, Sammy Zane versus Braun Breaker was short. Too short, but I understand why. WWE want to push Braun to the moon and beating a popular baby face like Sammy will get him over. I think the reason why Braun is not using his real last name is because he wants to get over on his own marriage and not rely on the legacy of his father or uncle. I it may be that. too late for that since he is Big Papa Pump Jr. at this point, except with no white hair or sunglasses. Um, I get it. I do, because if he comes out as Steiner, yeah. But look, check this out. When I first saw him, Cornette had mentioned that that was Steiner's son. And I was like, wait, he got a son wrestling? I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Seriously, I've been waiting. So when I go check it out, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, wow. He looks. I was like, you can't you hide can't that. You can't hide that. I was like, that looks like, and he's doing moves in the ring. I said, that's Rick's stuff. That's Scott. He looks, and at the time, he could have been either one of their kids at the time. But over the months, it's all Rick. He's got Rick's shoulders. He's got Rick's body. That's what's crazy. He got his father's body. He can't hide that. Has he got Rick's booty? No. Rick had an ass. Ooh wee. Back in the day. <laughs> so I was like that. I mean, if he doesn't want to use Steiner because he wanted to get over on his own, it's like, bruh, you have to not look like a Steiner. Got them close set eyes. Yep. So I Look, I was I marked out when I saw him, and it's like, look, the cat's out the bag. You you know, and then again, there's a chance. Just think about this, Jones. There's a chance that he didn't use that name because at the time Vince was still in charge, and Vince, Vince, will make sure he owns everything about you, so that if you ever go to the independence or another company. You have to be like Adam Copeland. Oh. Uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> or Cody. Yeah. Not Cody Rhodes. He's just Cody. Cody. What? <laughs> Cody does not say strength by any means. Nope. Nobody is hiding thinking about Cody's coming. 
<laughs> there's, there's a chance that he was protecting himself. Because there's a chance that it's still like, look, Steiner Brothers, that's under WWE contract, licensing, and yada, yada. So he's like, all right, I'll just use Breaker. So maybe that's what it is. Um, so it could be exactly what you're saying, Jones, or maybe something we are saying, or maybe neither. That's the scary part. If it's neither, then what is it? You know? Uh, I like to break stuff, so I'm a breaker. You know what? That's so simple, it might be true. <laughs> <laughs> it says LA Knight versus Paul was a good match I agree with your thoughts on Paul if he was not a detestable human being I would like him I am glad Knight won and now he can wash the stink of Paul off the US title yep uh, LA Knight feels like a proper old school wrestler from the 80s he does but he's taken Everything, everything from Triple H, Steve Austin, Dwayne Johnson, Shawn Michaels, even The Undertaker. He's taking all of that and he's using it and making it his own. And he's doing it well. The problem is I can hear it sometimes. I'm like, like the promo he did on SmackDown, this past SmackDown, uh, the ninth. I was like, that is pure Dwayne Johnson. I could hear it. I was like, ah, but it, it, you know, hey, people remember him. Just hope, just hope LA doesn't have business dealings with Dwayne Johnson in public on a promo because Dwayne will bury him. <laughs> he will bury him like nothing and kill his career inside of three minutes so he says raw has actually been pretty good but i would not recommend watching it all the way uh for three hours just stick to key segments and matches i highly uh r-e-c-c-e -C -C -E? I, I i'm assuming he's saying recommend Maybe. Um, R E C C what? R E C C E. It, it seems like it's something that was he was saying, but it got cut off. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure, but he said the Wyatt six segments, and it's six as in you know I feel unwell, you know how I've been feeling for a while for a while. Oh. The Wyatt six segments. So I'm not sure if he's saying skip it or watch it. I'm just saying trying to say recommend or. Um, so I don't, I can honestly say I don't know. Um, he says Bailey versus Nia was okay, but predictable. Yeah, I mean, it was like, okay, you know, Nia's gonna win, maybe that's where I was. I was like, they might do something. Um, but he says, thank goodness, but. No, no, wait a minute, I got ahead. Uh, it was predictable. I knew Jax would win, which is a shame because I wanted Bailey to keep the, keep her tight a little bit longer. I I'm just I'm just not feeling Bailey. I get it. I see it. I'm just not feeling Bailey though. Um Naya did look pretty good and she did not hurt Bailey. Thank goodness. But I'm still not a fan of her as a wrestler. I don't think I can ever be a fan of Nia Jax. I'm like, she I just don't I just don't care. You know, because all I would do is just be able to tear her matches apart. And I try not to look at stuff like that. Uh, he says, I think Punk versus Drew was part one of a trilogy because everyone liked trilogies in wrestling. Yeah, but they're doing it good, though. They're doing it good. I think the final match will be Hell in a Cell. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Don't, don't, don't. Just, no. Just make it a regular cage match. It's all good. Uh, Solo versus Cody just proved that Solo was not ready to be in the main event matches unless they are tag team matches. Well, okay. I wish you had lengthened on why. Look, okay. I'm going to say this, Jones. If because he lost and all the interference and he couldn't get the job done, I'm going to be honest with you, you kayfabed yourself. I'm going to tell you this, what I saw of Solo. 
He was on time. Okay. He was. He did not leave Cody hanging in the wind. He didn't get ahead. Oh, okay. He was he was <laughs> on time. His timing was great. His facials were, were great. He didn't look like some drone. <laughs> he didn't look like he was just sitting there, you know, waiting for, you know, the adult movie finish or <laughs> nothing like that. This is why you say he was on time. Like, that's the best you could say. It he, was, he, it was, was he a was, comma. He was punctual when he showed up to the, to the arena. It was a comma. <laughs> I know. But it was a long comma, but it was a comma. <laughs> I was like, oh, that might be all he got going for him. <laughs> He's punctual. <laughs> he spaced out his moves. He wrestled. He pro-wrestled. He helped tell a story. He, he showed that he was main event worthy. He showed that. He's, he can do he can do what he needs to do. He showed that to me. Um, I have to watch the match. Look, it was cheating all around. All right, just just they they, they was they they was just it wouldn't stop. I mean, the bloodline rules. You know they're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. So so he did more than a body slam you and then circle your body. Oh no, he did. Yeah. He get a, he, a tossing Samoan drop. He did. He did three of them. You know, he he, he did different type of power bomb. He wrestled. He got beat up. He did the beating up. He rallied the troops. He did a whole lot. He didn't lead that match. You could tell. You can look at his eyes at points and tell that he's listening to the commands instead of, "I'm gonna get you." His eyes were shifting. I didn't mind that at all. I did. I did not care for that. It was just you know. I'm, it's just something I noticed, but. Um, I thought he, I thought he did everything to show that he could carry a match and be led and look good. Once he becomes, if he stays a heel, once he becomes well adapted, he's got about seven years to go, and then he probably be like, okay, now I'm calling the matches. So we'll just have to see. He says Jacob is more ready, and he has not been in WWE that long. He, he's he's getting passionate. He's he's got exclamation points. But yeah, he's more seasoned. Yeah, Jacob has been wrestling for a long time, for a long time. Solo Sokoa has been wrestling on since 2018, and we don't even know when in 2018. Solo ain't—he's still a baby in pro wrestling. He's a baby. So you know you got to go on that. So keep that in mind. You know it takes seven to ten years before you can start being like. I get it. A prodigy, that type of person, like MJF, they get it and they try to implement it so much they start forgetting stuff. Did you say progeny? You mean prodigy? Prodigy. Prodigy. Okay. My bad. What? What? I said what? Like a kid? Like offspring? offspring? Yeah. I mean, it's wrong, but in a sense, pro wrestling, yeah, the ring has children. And they're all covered in staff. <laughs> he said LA Knight versus Logan was definitely better. It was. I'm going to give it that. It was. And now that Roman is back, he's going to feud with Solo. That is proving to be a bad situation. Yeah. SummerSlam 2024 was pretty good overall. Nothing really bad. Yeah, I, I thought SummerSlam might be bad. I was thinking it was going to be bad because... I'm, you know, it's like WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. Outside of that, fuck them. <laughs> but I was like, man, it don't remind me of the SummerSlam when I was a kid. But it's still, it was still good. You know, it didn't have that summertime feel to it. They didn't use those colors. So tell me, uh, is Cody more convincing as champion? Uh, w w uh then what? than when he first won it. I think he's, he was doing all right until he challenged Kevin. Okay. Baby face, fighting uphill. And now, because of Solo, he looked like a strong baby face. But Solo looked good, but he also looked weak because he had so much help. So it's, it's all about how your perception is and if you can't fave yourself or not. So it's, it's all about that. Uh, you know, in kayfabe yourself, you know, like you, you, 
you leave the fact that you know it's a work behind and then you just talk about it like it's legit you know it's like no nah. you know like uh vince russo he can't fade himself he the, the stevie ray was arguing with him and he's and and he was like how come i never got a shot at the belt then why don't you why don't you make a match with me going after the belt and vince russo said you didn't beat anybody to earn it and he goes didn't beat anybody he goes then he then stevie ray had to say then who who'd you let me be because Russo was writing the matches and letting everybody know, hey, look, you go over, you don't. Stevie Ray lost to a lot of people. So he has so he has Stevie Ray lose. And because he's losing, he doesn't get a title shot. But it's like you don't get a title shot because you keep losing and he kayfaded himself. Mm -hmm. And it looks really bad. Like that is the worst mark right there. Um, let's see. Uh, this begins with, uh, this is one of uh, the G1. And I think that says day, yeah, day 13. It says it right there. I'm trying to read the little bitty red, orangish letters. Okay, so look. He says, first I have some bad news. Kevin Sullivan has passed away. I was shocked and saddened by the news. Just watch his, uh, just watch his Falls Count anyway, Anywhere match with Benoit in his memory. Rip Sullivan. WWE, they did a thing on him, and then they could because they've got the vault from WCW. Yeah, it was nice. It was. And I remembered a lot of that stuff, and I was like, literally, I thought then, as I do now, what? It was, I just didn't understand. I never believed all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I just didn't. I was like, this don't make sense. You know, it just I wasn't entertained because it looked so super stagey it looked high class b movie mm. yeah and i wasn't i just couldn't dig it but i was I, but you know it, it, it was what it was um i i when jim and brian went over how ill he was and that he was still in the icu and unconscious and he was suffering from encephalitis among other things i was like this I, isn't going to take too long i didn't expect him to make it because and because when they reported it, he had been in the icu for so long do you know off the top of your head what encephalitis is encephalitis is a uh, is a is an infection of the brain wow it's serious it's serious serious <clears throat> okay, I could ask a lot more questions because I do have them, but um, we're going to move on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because Kevin Sullivan was somebody I, I ain't going to say I admired or anything, but. It's inflammation of the brain caused by infection. Okay. Usually. Let me look and stuff up. Um, okay, I'll just move on. Yeah. He says, New Japan Pro Wrestling never had respect for Naito. They have effed him over so many times. If it wasn't for his loyalty to his friends, he would have left New Japan Pro Wrestling a long time ago. At this point, I believe he has zero respect or loyalty to New Japan Pro Wrestling as a company. Yeah. I, I don't blame him. Me and Cedro so many times it's like he's gonna win the belt this time. Mm -hmm. He's gonna and every time he didn't, and any time when Minoru didn't, and I was like, man, Okada ain't that damn good. Mm -hmm. Especially when you watch those matches, like oh, they had to drag him through those matches. Great Okan gets a well earned victory. The man has improved greatly and finally picked up some wins. It's about time. I was starting to think. Uh, he ticked someone off in management or something. Mm -hmm. I think that too. Um, I think Okan is so good. He knows how to lose and make it seem a little believable for those that don't know him too well. Mm -hmm. I can give you that, yeah. Because we Cause know him good. and we can see when he just, well, I ain't going to win this. Yeah. It just happens. Because he's that good. Yep. Because he good. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Lee is the smart bastard. No, Jake Lee as the smart bastard is starting to grow on me as a heel. I think he takes over. I think he takes over Bullet Club in the future because there is no way a former Triple Crown champion should be taking orders from the son of Fit Finley. Okay. I have. Okay. That. 
Wow, where did, where did that come from? He must not like fit. Maybe he don't like all the spitting either. Oh, that, wow. Okay. Um, I think at some point, Shota will grow out of the Moxley influence and develop a persona that fits him. We can hope. Yeah. Gabe versus Zach was pretty good. Technical Marvel versus a self-proclaimed madman. Oh, yeah. That's about how that was. Boring. When I, when I saw Zach use the Gotch Power Driver, I popped. I miss Suzuki in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Man, Suzuki left because he won't get any love. Why they never booked Zach versus Suzuki in a G1 match is beyond me. Why they never booked Zach versus Tai Chi in a singles match is beyond me. Some people don't want to work with certain people. Weren't Zach and Tai Chi tagged up? At one point, Dangerous Techers. Yeah. Um, wow. I can't believe I really remember mean. that. I know that. <laughs> I wish Gabe would challenge Suzuki and experience what it's like to fight a real madman. All right. I see where you're coming from. It sounds like you want him to suffer. I'm on board. I can honestly tell you Suzuki is not in that league anymore. He's slowing down and they're treating him gently now. So he's he's slowing down. He's not up there with Gabe. Gabe, he, no. Suzuki 10 years ago, he'd be right there with it. But now, I got to honestly almost quote Jim Cornette and say they're treating him like he's a Fabergé egg. They treat everybody like they're Fabergé eggs. Suzuki's different. It's like they go out their way not to touch him. It's weird. Um, he says, Zach is my pick to win the G1. At this point, it would, it would be complete BS not to book him to win. I mean, you love Zach. I, I'd be happy with Zach, Goto, Konosuke, Jeff Cobb, Sonata. That's my issue. That's a lot. There's a lot that Shingo. I'd be happy. Shingo. Oh, Shingo. He can do no wrong to Even you. evil. Evil can go suck on something. Damn you. Evil, no, evil, no. I don't care. Look, no. I'm, no. Nope. Nope. Shingo versus evil. What did that be for? But, mm, 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 mm. What can I say? It was a e an evil match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, I am just happy Shingo won. But House of Torture needed to F off. If they want to act like WWE heels, they should just go to WWE. They made a living off of BS finishes and overbooking. The English commentary said that Naito was too exhausted from his match, which is silly because he should have been rested by that point of the show. With the exception of evil matches, the A block has been consistently good. Yeah. So here's what needs to happen with evil. Look. And Gabe Kidd. Do you remember... The hot dog episode of regular show. Yeah. After they were all wait, the which which one? The, the 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 hot dog eating contest? No, the or? one where the hot dogs came to life. Okay, yeah, okay, that one. So yeah. the hot dogs are running around trying to eat everybody, and then they got mustard squirted on them, and they started eating each other. Remember that hot dog that ate himself until he disappeared? Yeah, like they told me back in grade school. That's what. That's how the dinosaurs died. The T Rex ate himself. Okay. Yeah, they, they literally, yeah, that was in the books and everything. They, that's what it was teaching. Okay. Um, four years make a difference. Evil and Gabe Kid need to splatter themselves with mustard and devour themselves. And then we'll all be rid of them. What if they don't like mustard, Cedra? Ketchup, mustard, relish, sauerkraut, chili. I don't care what it takes for them to disappear. Take their BS and their constant hackneyed fuck yous sprinkling with a little David in his spit and go away. I think both of y'all mad because evil can out wrestle everybody except Naito and Yuya and Sonata. Evil is never gonna wrestle until he's in that paper bag by himself. He gotta wrestle his way out. Tal Jones wish he could have been a wrestler and since he can't he's mad at evil. That's that's what I think. So now you're on the evil bandwagon, huh? 
Y'all jumping on him. He's got to have some help. No, he doesn't. He got help. He's got dick. He's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to be a heel here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man mm. I do not have the lung capacity to laugh like I, oh my goodness okay okay no I, I cannot logically defend either against y'all two I, I know that. good grief and then his final one was two days ago. That was uh, on day 13. He says, get some rest, CR. And you know what, man? I, I have been. I've been down in uh, uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother and uh, water. And I have been drinking plenty of fluids. N no carbonated drinks. No sugary drinks. And tangerine. Yeah. And, I, and yes, early today, I devoured I don't know how many tangerines. Ugh. <sighs> so good mmm tangerine oranges tangerines yes oh anyway what's y'all favorite fruit y'all let me know what y'all favorite fruit is you know yeah come on oranges mmm see you don't have one because you like Tai Chi oh we're going back to this bull prove me wrong Go back and find the recordings. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them where I told everybody how you love Taiji. Plenty Tai of them where I told them how I felt about Taiji, and it was nothing good. I, I, I hmm, who do I dislike more, Tai Chi or Adam Cole? Adam Cole, it's no question. Adam Cole. Really? And Gabe Kid is really is really working his way up there. What about Newman? Newman, I can ignore. But I don't have a deep seated disdain. People like, oh, just move on for his matches. But his presence doesn't piss me off like it does with, like it did with Tai Chi, like it does for Adam Cole, and like it does for Gabe Kidd and Finley. Yeah. I think I think you're just upset. You don't know how to do a brain buster. I don't want to know how to do a brain buster. I just want to not be disgusted when I'm watching wrestling. <laughs> 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 nasty ass <laughs> okay all right so look that's gonna do it for us all right it's been Cedric Casita for CR Wrestling Commentary answering viewers and with that we want y'all to be cool be chill be safe so that we can see you next time